Remote idyllic ecosystem? Well, it may not be remote, but two out of three ain't bad. When you consider that last February, Creekway Park, as it's known, looked like this. And the creek that now flows through it used to run under it in a concrete tunnel. To see the change over the last six months is incredible. It, this was a barren gravel parking lot not that long ago, and now to see what it is today, uh, it's an amazing change. Mark Angelo, creator of International Rivers Day, has dreamed of daylighting Hastings Creek and restoring the land around it, near and on the PE grounds, for a long time. I first thought about this 40 years ago when I met an elderly gentleman at the PE who told me about this creek that once ran close to where we're st we, uh, we were standing at the time and how he used to fish for salmon at the stream's outlet. And that sparked an interest in this creek that's stayed with me ever since. Paving over salmon-bearing streams in the name of development wasn't something the city fathers had much trouble with once upon a time. But that attitude has changed. We have come full circle. Uh, what was deemed to be progress 50 years ago in terms of paving things over for, for roads and, and, uh, and transportation. And I think that what we've realized now is that one doesn't have to be to the exclusion of the other. The city of Vancouver pumped $1.2 million into the recreation of Creekway Park, which will attract not just people, but birds, fish, and amphibians. But it doesn't end here. It's only phase one of the three-phase Hastings Park project. The next stage, I hope, unfolds over the next few years, and that'll take this creek all the way down to the ocean. And once that happens, that opens up all kinds of possibilities, including the potential to get salmon back into the lower part of the creek. After the creek is exhumed from the fields of New Brighton Park and reunited with Burrard Inlet, the third and final stage will reclaim it all the way up to the sanctuary, a pretty little hidden gem that was itself restored 13 years ago. These sites really do have a, a biological function. They're in, in other ways, they're small and kind of, you could argue that they're almost like a postage stamp of habitat. Right. But if you add that up across the city, you start to, uh, to really build the biodiversity in the city. 50 salmon streams were lost, so we'll never get them all back. But redevelopment, I think, will create the opportunity at least to get some back. And I think what's happening with Hastings Park Creek really epitomizes that. Linda Aylesworth, Global News.